Hello there, my name is Plumby, and today I'm going to be bringing you all another episode of The Sims 4 Fox Glove Legacy. Now before we get into today's episode, I do want to say that this is going to be the episode before the final episode of this Let's Play. I know when beginning it I want it to be a legacy, but I've now decided that I want Honeybrew to, to be my only legacy Let's Play on the channel because I've really thought about it and I do not have the time nor the energy to keep up with two legacies. So I've made the decision to cut this let's play short. I have mainly completed the storyline I had planned for it. Obviously there are a couple things which I still need to tie up but those are very tiny things and the main story and I suppose Pine's arc if you will. <laughs> I've kind of you know finished it now so this will be the episode before the final episode and I hope you guys don't mind. So sorry for the ramble in the beginning. I usually don't like to do these kind of rambles at the start of my let's play episodes anymore because I know you guys want to just watch the let's play episode but i thought it was very very important that i kind of let you guys know what's going to be going on with fox gloves so you're not shocked when the next episode comes out and it's like final episode and you're like wait that's completely out of nowhere i just wanted to give you guys a heads up and kind of let you know my reasoning to why i am cutting this let's play a bit short and why it isn't going to be a legacy like i orig originally intended it to be it's currently around brunch time and pine and fawn are currently playing don't wake a llama it's a beautiful summer's day today and as we know in the last episode pine and marnie did go ahead and visit pine and fawn's mum which which was a very very interesting experience for the both of them and I feel like Pine is definitely feeling very very liberated after seeing her mum. She definitely got the answers that she was looking for despite them not being you know the best outcome, despite it not being the best outcome it could have been. She still feels very free and like she can really start a new life now. So she's just been having a very very fun time and relaxing time the past few days just hanging out with Fawn. So far she hasn't actually gone out anywhere so I think we are probably going to go ahead and get her to see Basil because she has not seen Basil in a few days so I think it'd be fun to go ahead and meet him now. So let's go ahead and get them to meet up somewhere. So they've decided to go ahead and meet up in Finchwick and I'm going to go ahead and get her to head on over here and say hello to him. If we remember not in the last episode but the episode before that they actually had their first kiss and kind of admitted their feelings to each other which was so adorable. I think now she's kind of giving him the lowdown on everything that happened whilst she was away seeing her mum and she's kind of telling him how you know, she was very very disappointed with who her mother turned out to be and how her mother hadn't really changed but she definitely feels kind of free now and like she can really make a move on with her life now that that kind of chapter with her mum has been tied and now she finally feels that she can begin anew and she actually feels really refreshed because of the visit. If we also remember when they did have their first kiss Nyla actually noticed. As we know, Nyla did tell Pine that November Basil's roommate actually has been in love with him and had feelings for him all these years but she was just too afraid to make a move and Nyla kind of said to Pine you know do not try and make any moves on Basil but of course obviously Pine did anyway and Nyla did witness the first kiss so Basil's probably saying right after you left November's been acting quite weird and distant and I have no idea why same with Nyla I mean we all had a meet up the other day and for some reason Nyla was just completely ignoring me and I, I literally have no idea why. Do you know what may have upset her? Because I have no clue. I think she's not fully sure what to say because she doesn't know if it's her place to tell Basil, you know, oh, November has had feelings for you all these years. She's kind of thinking maybe that's something that November wants to tell him herself. So she does feel bad for just saying, you know, oh, I'm not sure why would Nyla be acting like that when she knows the truth. But I think first she's probably going to think I should probably talk to November and Nyla first before telling Basil anything just because she'd feel like a bit of a douchebag I suppose kind of telling Basil about November's true feelings and November not telling him herself so I think we're going to go ahead and cut this date a little short so Pine can pay a visit to Nyla. So we are now here at Nyla's house and as we can see she's currently tending to the garden. I think the pine is just going to fully approach her and just say you know hi how are you? I haven't been around for a couple days because I was actually visiting my mum in San Sequoia and it looks like Nyla is actually ignoring her. <laughs> Nyla's like I'm just trying to spray the bug so I can imagine that she's not too happy with pine. I think pine is going to say to her are we like okay you seem a bit angry at me. 
Listen, Pine, I don't just get annoyed at people for no reason whatsoever. I'm annoyed at you because I saw you kissing Basil. After I literally told you that November is in love with him, you still went ahead and you still kissed him and you still asked him out and that's just wrong. I admit that was a pretty bad thing of me to do, but I really like Pine, Nyla, and November wasn't making a move anytime soon. I mean, what else was I supposed to do? I don't want to speak for Basil either, but honestly, I do think he only sees November November is a friend. I know that sounds bad, but it's the truth. We thought you were our friend, Pine, but you're clearly not. I mean, what kind of friend does that? I don't really want to talk to you anymore. I think you owe November an apology, okay? So don't talk to me. I'm fed up of seeing your face. If I'm being fully honest, Nyla does sort of have a point. Obviously, Pine isn't in the wrong here because she's allowed to ask out whoever she wants. She likes pa Basil. Basil likes her. But I can definitely see why Nyla would feel a bit angry and would feel a bit, you know, betrayed, I suppose, by Pine and November, and that November would feel this way too. Pine decided to take Nyla's advice and go and visit November to kind of give her an apology I suppose of sorts. Pine does feel quite bad that you know November's feelings are hurt so she does want to go see her and hopefully make amends. So I'm going to go ahead and get them to sit out here and have a little chat. Pine is probably going to say I'm just going to get straight to the point. I am sorry that I asked out Basil. I'm sorry that me and Basil are seeing each other now. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I didn't do this to backstab you or to be a bad friend. I just genuinely really really like Basil. And I think November's gonna say, wait, Pine, slow down. It's okay. I really don't mind at all. I mean, obviously my heart is broken. I do like Basil more than a friend, but I'm happy for you two and I'm happy he found someone he likes. I assume Nyla said something to you. Listen, Nyla, she means well, but she can sometimes get a bit carried away, kind of make herself look out to be quite a, a mean person. But I want you to know that we're all good and I'm happy for you two no hard feelings pine and i really really want us to stay friends and i'll make sure to talk to nyla about this and tell her that there's no need to kind of cast you out of the group pine definitely was not expecting that reaction whatsoever she was expecting a lot more anger so she's a bit surprised but of course she's happy nonetheless because she really does consider november her friend and she is happy that there are no hard feelings between them and obviously it's going to be a bit awkward because november is not just going to stop liking basil all the sudden but it's good that she isn't angry at Pine and him for going out together and that things aren't going to be as bad as Pine initially thought they would be. November said that it may be a good idea for them all to head out to the pub because maybe there's some you know awkward feelings floating around so November's like why don't we just completely get rid of that wall and the whole group can go out to the pub together. So we have arrived and sadly in the restaurant there are only the biggest table is four seats and there are six people so the boys have had to sit upstairs which is annoying but honestly I find it really really funny. I'm getting them to actually play some foosball which looks so fun so it looks like Nyla and Basil are against Kira and Pine. On the other foosball table I'm gonna go ahead and get November and Riley to kind of battle battle. <laughs> Not battle, you know what I mean? Play against each other. I feel like battle is a bit of a dramatic way to explain foosboards. It's not like some kind of tabletop skirmish game or anything like that. So there's not going to be any battling going on, but you get my drift. Riley is definitely also a bit heartbroken at the fact that Pine and Basil are now kind of dating because he definitely has had a crush on Pine since she arrived here so now knowing that you know they're probably not going to be together kind of sucks for him because he was kind of hoping that him and Pine could potentially end up together. So him and November are kind of in the same boat on that sense so you know maybe they could potentially go out on a date. I don't know, I think that could be really adorable if they ended up together. Let me know what you guys would think about that in the comment section down below. I can imagine that Nyla has said to Pine, you know, November told me on the way that she really doesn't mind. This doesn't mean I'm not annoyed with you. I still think what you did was wrong, but as long as November is happy, I'm happy. So it doesn't look like Nyla is gonna be ignoring Pine for much longer or being rude to Pine <laughs> for much longer, hopefully. And I 
actually notice there's a karaoke machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Nyla and Pine to both do some karaoke together, which is so adorable. It makes me so happy to see that, you know, they're still friends, still getting along. And there's nothing better than some good old country karaoke in the pub in Hanford, which is so cute. And I can never get enough of the karaoke machine. It is so much fun. It is beginning to get quite late now though. So I think I am gonna go ahead and get Pine to head home in a second and oh no <laughs> that interaction did not go well hopefully she'll accept the rose though okay good she accepted the rose <laughs> but it is getting late and I do think that she's kind of saying you know I'm getting quite tired now it looks like Basil is quite tired too and I think the whole group are so I think they're gonna go ahead and call it a day here oh my gosh Jess is about to get him to leave it looks like Riley <laughs> is doing some solo karaoke why do I like I feel like he'd actually have a good voice I don't know why but in my head I can imagine he'd actually have quite a good singing voice <laughs> I would say that hangout went very very well I think everyone had a great time there's no more awkward feelings which is amazing I'm so glad that everything has been sorted out between November Nyla Basil and Pine so many names oh my goodness <laughs> I'm really glad it's all been sorted and you know there's no weird awkwardness or anger in the air anymore it is now the next morning and I am currently getting Oak and Pine to have a conversation Oak actually has some exciting news that he wants to share with Pine he is saying to her, you won't believe it, but a cottage in fin Finchwick has actually come up for sale. I know you've been saving for a while and I think that it's actually in your budget if you're interested. So would you be interested in potentially getting it? And I think that Pine is going to say, honestly, I think so. I mean, I wanted to kind of have my own place for a while now. I've been living with you guys for months now. So I think it would be really, really awesome if I kind of had my own place. Yeah, I, I would him interested which oak is very very happy to hear obviously he loves having the girls in the house but he thinks it would be really lovely for you know pine to finally have some you know independence in her life and obviously she's always been very very independent i mean she's had to be especially when it came to raising her little sister but i think you know just having her own space finally being able to focus on herself i think would be a very very good thing for her so he's very very happy to hear that she is interested and i think he's saying you know today we could actually go ahead and check it out you know see if you even like how it looks in the first place. So these two have a very exciting day ahead of them. Everyone has been feeling quite happy at the moment and been kind of on top of the world aside from one sim and that will be Marnie. Marnie is actually feeling really really down in the dumps especially after her and Pine's visit to see Delilah. She's just been feeling awful. I think the whole visit didn't do her any good like it did Pine any good. As we did you know see in the last episode she feels really really guilty and I think Oak does too but not to the extent that Marnie feels. I think she kind of thought you know in the weeks after visiting Delilah this feeling would kind of go away, the feeling of guiltiness and just the feeling of regret but really it hasn't and she still feels really down and she's been trying to hide it I think in you know typical Marnie fashion she doesn't like people to kind of see when she's feeling down or sad she's been trying to you know hide it so she's been kind of staying away from everybody and really just closing herself off from everyone I think she also feels bad as well because she is the only one who is you know really sad about it and she's kind of thinking you know Oak is fine Pine is fine Fawn is fine so why am I so sad like it's not it's not fair for them for me to be the only one who's sad as we know Marnie doesn't really have any friends she's definitely a big hermit she doesn't like leaving the house that often and she prefers to be here with the chickens rather than go out and see other sims but I think today she has kind of thought I do need to go ahead and visit my old friend because I need to talk to someone about this obviously she doesn't want to talk about it with Pine and Oak so she's thinking that seeing this old friend may be a good way to you know see them again and also kind of just talk about all the feelings that she's been having. So Marnie has decided to meet her old friend in Finchwick. This is her old friend here Heidi and she hasn't seen Heidi in such a long time but she's very excited to see her again and she definitely thinks that this was probably a very good idea. Heidi's probably going to say I haven't seen you in so long Marnie. I was actually really shocked when I received the call this morning saying if you'd you know like to hang out I really wasn't expecting to hear from you you know. So you see you being a complete recluse it's a celebration if you ask me. As happy as I am to see you you're my oldest friend and I can always 
tell when something is bothering you. So is everything all right? I'm sorry to kind of just drop all of this on you, you know, out of nowhere, especially after not seeing you for months. As I mentioned in my text message a couple weeks ago, me and my granddaughter Pine, we went to go visit my daughter Delilah, who you know, me and Oak have a very, very complicated history with. Well, she turned out to be an awful person, to put it simply. Oh, I feel so sad for her. She just had to wipe away a tear. My heart hurts. I think Marnie's gonna say that I just I blame myself. I just feel like such a bad parent. Maybe if I would have been there for her, maybe if me and Oak weren't so caught up in our work, we could have, you know, supported her, we could have been there for her, we could have, you know, just been parents, but we were so work focused that we forgot our own daughter and now she is an awful mum to her kids. I mean, Fawn's gonna grow up not really knowing who her mother was. Pine seems okay with it, but I fear that it's all gonna catch up to her eventually and I just feel like it's all my fault. I understand why you may feel that way, Marnie. It's a very, very tough situation to get yourself into, but I want you to know it's not your fault. You're not the reason why your daughter turned out this way. I'm not saying that you didn't raise her perfectly. Obviously, how you raised her is going to have some implications on how she acts, but that's not all of it. Some people just aren't good people, and sometimes as parents, there's nothing we can do to change that. I think Marnie is going to say, I, I appreciate that. Heidi, I really, really do. And yeah, it, it helps knowing, but it still hurts. I guess I just wish that, you know, she could have been nice and things could have gone well, but that just sadly isn't the case. And uh, Delilah will never be a good mom. And I suppose that all I can do is try my best to be a good grandmother to Pine and Fawn, to support them no matter what, to be the parent that I wish I was to Delilah. I think that being able to talk to her old friend Heidi about this and kind of just let it all out how she's been feeling and kind of come up with a solution I suppose not a solution but you know what I mean something to make her feel better has definitely been really really helpful to Marnie obviously she's not gonna just drop feeling sad I think it's still gonna take time but I think just speaking to Heidi just talking to someone just laying it all out on the table has just really helped her feel quite a bit better I honestly think that we should leave these two to it and let them you know catch up on some more lighter subjects <laughs> so I think we're probably gonna let these guys just have a little chat and why don't we go ahead and see what Pine and Oak are up to with checking out Pine's potential new home. So they have just arrived actually at Pine's potential new cottage and of course Fawn wanted to tag along too to potentially see where her big sister could be moving so they did drag along <laughs> her as well. So this is it from the outside, it is right in the middle of Finchwick which I think Pine would really like. So here is a quick overview of the cottage. So obviously it isn't fully furnished, so we'll have to furnish it ourselves. Pine is currently you know, making her way into the kitchen, which has already been furnished quite a bit. It is such an adorable kitchen though. I I'm such a sucker for like small kitchens. When I lived abroad in Malaysia, the kitchen that we had was so tiny, but it was so cute and charming and so cozy. The main living area is also really, really nice too. And Marnie, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks like Marnie's like, you know, I just said goodbye to my friend and thought I'd, you know, come here and check out the house too. So yeah, I really like the downstairs part. Here is the upstairs. So it looks like there are two bedrooms, but I feel like Pine will maybe make the second bedroom into like a guest Room. Maybe if Fawn ever wants to stay with her or something, that could be really adorable. And there is a bathroom up here too, which is quite awesome. So it's very, very small, but I have a feeling that Pine really loves the space and she really feels that this could be her home for a little while. I can imagine that Marnie is kind of, you know, looking around at the garden and she's like, okay, this garden could definitely use some work. You could 100% grow some stuff around here if you, you know, took the time to maybe clear out some of the weeds, especially back there as we can tell with a little bit of work I think you could definitely have a garden here I can imagine that Marnie is probably saying to Pine. I think Fawny is also quite fond of the house as well she's kind of saying I'd love to have sleepovers here all the time it would be so much fun. Altogether I think that Pine's gonna say I think I want to take the house I think I can imagine myself living here yeah I think I'll take it. 
And I think Marnie's gonna say, you know, we're gonna miss you so much not having you in the house, but to be honest, it's gonna be nice not having to cook for so many mouths. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy the peace and quiet, but obviously I'll miss you a lot. In the next episode, we'll probably be seeing Pine, you know, moving into her new home, which is gonna be so much fun. Let me know your thoughts of today's episode in the comment section down below. I would love to hear. I had such a wonderful time today and I can't believe that next episode is gonna be the final. I will definitely be including lots of the final things to do with the story. I think a werewolf just ran by. <laughs> But I'm really looking forward to doing that as bittersweet as it will be. As I always say, I hope you're taking care of yourself today and doing something that you love, even if it's only for a minute or two. I'm sending you lots of hugs, hot chocolate, tea, coffee, whichever you prefer, and I hope you have a very, very wonderful rest of your day.